just got better. Woo, that's a jump off now. Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to another series. Now, uh, very interesting sort of deal. So, this will be a series where oh, on, the entire series has already been pre-recorded and it will be uploaded in like a, a weekly or like whatever. <laughs> so, let's get started with the game. Um, as the time of recording, I am currently recording the farm for the TK's Wave Hybrid and I have yet to get it, so... What we're going to do is we're just going to start a brand new Allegiance character. Now, I have done allegi Allegiances in the past, but not on this channel. I've honestly just done them by myself, just playing on the, the, the original version of the game on the Xbox 360. And I was like, alright, well, this isn't too difficult, I, ca I can do it. So, starting up a new character. And we start the game. All right, and you can already tell by the, uh, the the title and the thumbnail, we're going to be doing a Vladoff Allegiance Roland. A Vladoff Roland was the first ever Allegiance I have ever done. I have done about three or four in the past, and this was this was the first one. And Roland is my favorite character, so I'm going to play him. <laughs> Th that's about it. All right, and as we boot up the game, do, do, do if I can click it, there we go. So, of course, the rusty, mach mach blah, 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 blah. the rusty Machine Gun is our first Vladov, which is our starting weapon as Roland, which is great. These two weapons, I cannot use. So, any Gearbox weapons, Malawan, TD Ward, all that spiel, we cannot use. So, we can't use either of these. This is a vanilla character, so all this regular skill tree, not the ultimate characters mod. And everything is the same, but as you notice, everything seems a bit more bright. That is because I'm running Reshade. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're running Reshade, uh, that way it's uh, just a lot more vibrant. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> Usually for these allegiances, or like any video, or any character of mine, I always think of something cool. But for right now, I can't think of anything. So for right now, I'm just calling it Flat Off Roland. And if uh, anybody has some cool names with like a reference or whatever, uh, I will I'll, I'll most likely put it in. Uh, that screams a lot. There we go. Now the reason why I waited for Claptrap to turn for me to start running is by the time I parkour up here... Damn it. <laughs> by the time I parkour up here... Oh my lordy. What's happening? Alright, well, what's supposed to happen is I was supposed to parkour up here, get all the things, and by the time I come back, Claptrap will be opening the gate, but apparently I can't have anything good, so now we're just gonna have to get shot at, which is fun. Alright, first challenge is to get the Relentless Challenge, so we need to kill five enemies within seven seconds of each other, which, if you've played the game for as long as I have, it isn't that hard to do. And shoot this guy. Oh. Well, I didn't get it. <laughs> um, now I'm opening every container that I find because the challenge, what's in here, uh, will give me around 1000 XP. And I plan to complete that challenge by the time I get to T Bone Junction. Here we go. There we go. That's a relentless thing. I'm also going to set myself the challenge to not rely on the golden key chest. I might do it every so often, and if I get a Vladoff weapon, I'll kind of do something to, to earn it. Uh, but odds are I'm not really going to need anything in the golden chest, like, at all. And then we can do a speedrun strat, where we jump a look down, and spam the interact button. And there we go. So, as you can see, uh, this is an Ancient Shield, and then all these are Tidior Shields. Uh, we can't use any of these because these are Vladoff, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a shield, and then I'm going to resell it. So I'm going to sell all this stuff, 
than this as well. There we go. Vladov shields don't spawn to level 10, and they, are, and they are fire burst shields. So now with this done, and when we're supposed to have a shield, now we're going to move on to the DLCs. Now I just kind of show up to the DLC, that way they are locked in my fast travel station because I'm just weird like that. Who cares? Once I get the T-Bone Junction, I accept the missions from Scooter, then I run around grabbing all the weapons a year that I can for some money. This is so I can buy all the legendary SDUs and play through one before I do anything else. And with that, finally, after like four, like half an hour, we're all done. Ooh. Okay, now we gotta go to the Underdome DLC. Within the Underdome DLC, I just go around looking for anything that I could find that's flat off. We need a proximity mine grenade, a fire burst shield, and any form of flat off gear that we could find, like pistols, an AR, or even a sniper. Next, I went to the zombie DLC, starting a few missions so that way I can get to level 10. Cool, then we'll go over here. Grenade? Oh. Oh, perfect. And I am going to die. So, what I need to do is I need to run there. And those guys are looking at me. I need to run in there, get healed up quickly. Go. Run, 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 run. Damn it. Okay, that's all of them. After finally jumping over the gate when I'm almost out of grenades and health, I start running around all the turrets, turning them on, eventually killing all the zombies. I go outside the gate and kill zombies until I reach level 10, then I head back to Firestone to start lot. doing some main story missions. I then start to kill all the bandits with my new Vladov shotgun. After completing that, I go to Dr. Z, then he has me go see my best friend TK Baja Blast. And after I have a nice conversation with this pleasant old man, I have to go around picking out his food from the dirt from the local wildlife. And with his skag me back to him, the next thing he decides that I would have me do is go get some death balls from my good friend Marcus. No idea how you come to that after giving him some food, but you know, whatever. Whatever. No, no judging here. It is now time to kill Nine Toes. I blow up the gate in Torg fashion, then I make my way to the skag gully. Once I enter the Skag Gully, I go to TK's wife's grave to find that she has a blue lady finger. Unfortunately, I can't use this because it's a Hyperion, so I just put it in my pocket and keep on rolling. I was incredibly lucky to find the Times 2 Vladoff pistol that I did, because when it came to the bone. Um, <laughs> when it came to the Nine Toes fight, just check this. Bing! Done! After three bosses' demise, I run to TK Baja to tell him the good news. Then he has me run back to Firestone and talk to Dr. Zed. Which then has me go to go to the bounty board. Which the bounty board has me go back to TK Baja. I'm basically running a marathon here. It's like I'm already applying for Iron Man for next year. I make my way back to Skagully so I can kill Scar. With the possibility with him dropping a purple Vlad off, I just kill him a bunch of times with the clipper, and then switching over to the times 2 Vladoff pistol just to kill him super fast. With that done, I return to TK Baja, and I I unfortunately get a 2 in the mag TK's wave, which is utter garbage, and so I just sell it and move on with my day. Next up is Bonerhead. I wait until he gets close to the two corrosive barrels, then I shoot them with my new Vladoff sniper, giving him a corrosive dot, then I try to get in close with my times 2 Vladoff pistol, giving me the win.
And there we go. Once I hit the crits, it is game over. And with that, I'm going to have to end the episode here for today. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like. And if you're new here, hey, why don't, why don't you subscribe? Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.